4020 supporting England right through to the Rugby League World Cup 2013. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, we, we knew, we kind of knew what we were coming to. We saw the video footage and we did a recce and we had a lot of people tell us what it was like uh, from athletes that were in the past. But it's everything it says on the tin. We're, we're really happy with uh, the field, the gym side of it, the recovery, and obviously the added benefit of the weather and the altitude. So we're yeah, really pleased. Facilities are fantastic, and um, you know all the uh, all the data and um, uh, everything coming out of people who train at altitude. You know, do get very good um, responses and, uh, and great results. So, fingers crossed. Um, you know, it will have the same effect on us. But um, yeah, just really, really exciting to, to be over here with the gang. And yeah, I think it's great that the England Rugby League have, have chose to South Africa as a as a base. Yeah, they've done a lightish upper body session. So we've obviously had a 10 hour flight yesterday. We did a swim yesterday. And it's really our first session of the, of the camp. So it was a, more of a get back into it type session. Some guys have been playing in grand finals and semi finals. So they've not been hammering the weights as much as they, they do in season. So it was really a, a get back used to everything session today and uh, give the upper body a full workout and a bit of a flush uh, and prepare ourselves for this afternoon and tomorrow. I thought when I didn't get selected for the exiles, that could have been it for, for my career. Um, you know, JP's chose to, to retire, which is, uh, you know, he's given up service to England. I think the way he's been playing, though, he'd probably um, he'd make the England squad, but he's, he's gone to it. He's an end of an era, really. But as I say, when I got left out of the exiles squad, um, I thought that possibly could have been it, but uh, delighted to, to have been included in this, in this squad. And you never say never. I mean, you know, next year is a long way off, but. We'll, we'll just see how we uh, play next year. I mean, we don't have a problem with, with attitude because everybody is dying to play for England and realises that this is a tournament is, is important for us moving into next year. So uh, good first day or good first morning, hopefully we'll build that this afternoon. And, uh, it's just about stringing every day together and make sure we train with intensity and with the right mindset and that everything else takes care of itself. 4020 Magazine is your next generation rugby league monthly. From Bartley to Belgrade, Barrow to Brisbane, Swinton to Sydney, 4020 is packed with high quality articles by the best known names in the game. 4020 is on sale the 13th day of every month. Or subscribe by calling 0113 225 97 97 or at scratchingshedpublishing.com. 4020, the alternative voice of rugby league. iPhone and iPad app edition also available.